What is going on everybody? Bass line here. Today I'm bringing you guys a car vlog in the WRX. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about uh, how the WRX is doing, how the Fox body is doing. As you see the engines, the spare engines on this uh, hoist there. And I'm going to be talking about how I met Tommy Effia and Racer Miata yesterday. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so let's jump into today's story. Uh, last night, the Burger Fi Monday meet hosted by HP Logic was down at the Burger Fi in Wellington off Forest Hill Boulevard. Uh, every first Monday, we have a meet there, or they have a meet there. I usually go. Uh, took WRX, of course, because the Fox body's still getting fixed. We'll get into that later. I say fixed, we're, I'm converting it to EFI. And uh, so Tommy and Rudnick were down, I guess, for the week to swap an engine in that uh, GTST. So, uh, they came out and uh, Rudnick posted on Instagram that he was looking for him. He was gonna do him and like four other people to go against him in a hot dog eating contest. And I literally just ate before I went to the meet and I was not hungry at all. But I show up and I'm like, Rudnick, you should give me a shout out on YouTube or whatever and he goes, this was after he asked me to do the hot dog thing. I was like, eh, I don't really want to. And he goes, I'll shout your channel out as long as you don't come in last place in the uh, hot dog eating competition. So I was like, all right, well now I have to do it because, you know, getting a shout out from Racer Miata, the legend himself. And uh, so I'm, I'm coming into this, I'm literally shaking because like I'm not hungry at all. Like if I didn't eat earlier, I would have I would have been fine. So I'm just trying not to come in last place. So it's me, Rudnick, this other kid, and the storm, or the, like the Burger Fi manager. Somehow Rudnick talked him into it. So, we, uh, we start, uh, Rudnick orders like 12 hot dogs. He lays them out on the table. Everybody's got two cups of water. Uh, by the way, I'm not gonna spoil any, like, the, the good sh details. Of course, his video will probably be out later today, uh, as of this upload, or tomorrow. Uh, you guys definitely want to check it out, Tommy too, and uh, so we start eating, and I'm I'm lacking behind. Even even Tommy's like, you're not gonna get that shout out. You'll hear it in the video, and and then that kind of like triggered me to go faster, and I noticed like the water actually helps you because I guess it like soaks the bun. So I started drinking the water like halfway through and I'm thinking, well I'm fucked because whoever came in last had to eat this burger that the winner created. So I'm not gonna spoil the burger because that's gonna be one crazy video. But if you wanna see that, I'm pretty sure Jack live streamed it as well. So, long story short, I'm eating, I'm eating. And there was only like three hot dogs like that, like that big. But you know, I was full of shit and I really didn't wanna eat it, but I had to. So it's a close race. Nobody's looking at me. Everybody's looking at Rudnick and this other kid. There were three, like I guess you could say, ties at the table. My name was Tyler, the kid next to me was Tyler, and the fucking store manager's name was Ty. So it was three ties versus Rudnick. So they're all looking at the other kid named Tyler and Rudnick because I guess, you know, everybody thinks they can eat the best wieners. And uh, so I'm lacking behind, all of a sudden I start drinking the water with it and it's soaking the bun. And finally, it ends, and somehow I, I finished first, and Rudnick finished like right behind me. So I was just glad I didn't give a shit about winning and making the burger. I just didn't want to lose, because I did not want to have to eat that burger. So at the end, we got to make the burger, or I got to make the burger. I asked Rudnick for some help with it, and we put some nasty shit on that fucking burger. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys watch Rudnick's video for that. It's uh, You definitely want to go check it out. There's a fox body over there. It's a piece of shit, but it's there. Anyway, moving on. Uh, that Jeep almost went off the road too. Tommy and Rudnick were really nice guys, really down to earth. Same thing with Jack. Everybody was really nice there, had a fun time. I went down there with my friend Nori. He had a he's a right-hand drive uh, Z32. 
300 ZX, uh, some kit with an FRS and a uh, GT350 Mustang. Overall, great night. You guys definitely, if you're in the West Palm area, you should go check out uh, the meet once every uh, month, first Monday of the month. And uh, yeah, so moving on, how's the WRX doing? It's holding up well. We're up to 19,200 miles. And uh, you know, I've had this car for like 2,500 miles now, it treated me well. Uh, trans is holding up, the engine's holding up, knock on wood. And uh, yeah, really it's stock. I, mean, I wouldn't even call this shift knob a mod, I mean, it's heavy as shit, it's like over a pound. And uh, yeah, I plan to go stage two with this car and do a complex fuel kit and have a Jacket HP Logic tune it in the, in the future. For now, it's stock. Uh, all my money's going into that damn Fox body. And uh, speaking of the Fox body, we're converting it back to fuel injection because the previous owner converted it to carb, I guess, to save money. So uh, I bought that 87 GT hatch donor car. Uh, so we, I took the engine out of that. I took all the, the wiring harness, the injector harness. Then I went to the junkyard and pulled off the upper and lower intakes off the... A 96 Explorer or 98 Explorer so that had no EGR or it had an external EGR so I didn't have to worry about that and uh, that's a nice 6 gen Camaro so anyway got those I painted them both aluminum and while I was at it I put the EF5 valve covers on so I didn't have that stupid thing that would be hitting the upper intake. And I plan on filming working on the Fox body a lot more for you guys. I know you guys enjoy it. And uh, it's a lot of fun to work on it. So I guess I'll just throw on this GoPro headband and just work on it. I feel like that'd be cool to see. Uh, so the Fox body's going well. I got a new autometer tack that I'm going to put like into the cluster. I'm, I'm going to sell my like actual cluster and make like a custom fab to gauge holder in there so I'll have like the tack the speedo water temp all that good shit there and then that's doing well the roll cage still holding up nice the seats I have to figure out how the harnesses go on a on my cage but uh, other than that Fox body's working real nice so yeah that's about it for this video guys if you guys got any questions down below uh, let me know and uh, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, you guys have a good day